Namaste, love and light, star seeds. Ooh, I'm getting somebody. I was trying to brainwash people that you was like an addict, okay? Like you was a um a non-functioning addict here. Like some yeah, somebody caused some type of injustice. Um, caused an injustice on you. All right, if that makes sense, caused you an injustice. There we go. And I feel like they was like trying to make it seem like you was a victim of like addictions. Like you have like a drug addiction. Like you a drug addict. I feel like. Some people are crying about what this person said about you. Like, they thinking about it and they crying like this. How can this person be so evil? Like, you know, why would they say these things? Like, people are realizing how evil this karmic is. It could be two karmics involved here. All right. I'm hearing a sister. All right, this could have been, like, your sister. Take it how it resonates. They want to try to say that they love you. I feel like... Your sister could have been hating on you because you are a psychic. Like, your third eye is open and you guys receive downloads from the stars. I feel like this sister or whoever this karmic is, they don't have... I'm just specifically hearing sister. Or it could be auntie, whoever it is. All right, sisters, aunt, I don't know. Um, They were sending you attacks to, like, spirit, like, psychic attacks. They were sending you a lot of psychic attacks. I don't feel like these people knew what they were sending towards you. Like, some of these people thought they were sending you, like, heavy dark spells but it manifested into a psychic attack for you guys that's what i'm getting all right excuse my hair y'all i'm at my mom's house okay so i didn't come here prepared i just bought some cards i didn't know what was gonna happen what to expect okay i'm supposed to be going live on ig too let's see how i feel about that yeah look i'm hearing you're the judge here but these people try to judge you and with that judge i'm getting god's judgment you hold God's judgment? I feel like you have the, hmm, this judge. I feel like I'm getting judgment. Like, you call judgment on these people. Like, you called them out for who they are. And they felt like you was judging them. Like, that's not how I am. But no, they, that is how they are. they just not aware of who they are. They did not see it. They are in denial and running from it. And they didn't believe that was true. They, they didn't believe that was true for anybody. Like, people don't run from who they are. Like, if they're a bad person, they're going to want to heal and fix themselves. Not everyone is like that. Some people will fool you into believing that. And then next thing you know, you find yourself getting hurt. Money, turn that down, please. Yeah, I feel like this person was super ambitious to, like, beat you down. That's the vibe that I'm getting. All right, I feel like somebody was hating on your accomplishments. Like, you guys are an achiever. Somebody was trying to say you a high achiever or some shit. Like, I feel like y'all stepping into, like, celebrity status. Like, you guys are um stepping into, like, a huge spotlight. I'm actually seeing, like, the star energy. Some of y'all are about to get more followers, okay? And somebody may feel like a failure. Like, somebody was in competition with you in your spotlight, and you not even trying. All right, it's like you guys could be spiritual healers. A lot of you guys may be spiritual, I mean, celebrity um, herbalists. Celebrity spiritualist, celebrity healers. That's the vibe that I'm getting. You don't have to heal celebrities. You just may be made really known in that. I feel like some this person was trying to, like, distract you, though. They was like, what, yeah, like, I feel like somebody may have, like, a, a gluttony spirit on them. Some of y'all could be vegetarians or vegans. Some of y'all could be fasting. All right, or just focusing on feeding yourself, you know, better foods. More nutrition, more nutritious foods. All right, somebody has some, like, food allergies, food issues here. Somebody could, yeah, hmm. <laughs> some of you guys are, like, herb, like, I'm about to say herb doctor. What is that, like, a medicine man, medicine woman? All right, that's the vibe that I'm getting. Like, y'all know how to heal with herbs, you herbs. Like, some of you guys may use CBD, all right, or hemp. That's the vibes that I'm getting. Some of y'all may go to a um a cannabis doctor. Like you have like the card and everything. You could be working on getting that. Maybe I'm getting like prescribed. Like your doctor could have prescribed recently a card to you guys. Some of y'all may deal with a lot of anxiety because of your psychic gifts and abilities. It's because you feel so much. All right. I feel like you guys are high priestess. All right. A party who's connected with gypsy. All right. I feel like you guys also a prophet and an astrologer. Listen. Spirit is pushing something down the toilet. I'm sorry. My my kids, man. <laughs> I'm just gonna cut this out, okay? Are we only four minutes in? Okay, but um Yeah, I'm you know what I'm picking that up again. Like somebody is like 
looking at your time like somebody got a nasty demon or i'm getting this energy somebody is angry because time is like so i'm seeing time slowing down for you guys but this is not a bad thing it's like this is like a karmic was trying to like speed up time for you so like something bad would happen but that's like reversing and it's like you guys may even feel like you guys are going to have, like... And it's going to be... I'm hearing longer days. Why am I getting that? Isn't that something with, like, winter or something like that? I don't know. Or the days are shorter? Yeah, but... No, I think summer is, like, longer days, right? When you in the comments, they say, like, yeah, I feel like summer. All right. Shout out to you. All right. But what I'm getting is, like, you're going to feel like you have enough time like you're not running out of time anymore because somebody wanted you to run out of time somebody wanted you to be like like you on a treadmill but you're not reaching your goal you're just running out of breath running out of energy i'm here running out of time it's like you guys just keep thinking positive that's what y'all have to do keep thinking positive i feel like somebody was trying to receive downloads about you like literally like i'm seeing somebody trying to sit in meditation and like receive downloads about you some this person was feeding off of your energies your energies yeah some some this person was trying to feed off of your achievements as well here okay yeah i feel like you guys are stepping into a leadership role here okay when it um and it's connected with your um psychic gifts and abilities all right i'm hearing celebrity psychic now it's not about you wanting to be a celebrity. I'm just getting like that starlight, okay? And it's like you're an inspiration. Hold on a second. Hold on. If you're not in that energy, I feel like you guys are meant to be. I'm trying to think of a um a title for you guys. I feel like turn it on, Mino. I feel like somebody was trying to like talk about your sexuality. Like somebody could be making jokes, like saying, "Oh, I think you're gay," or you know, "I think you lesbian," or. You know, I think you go both ways, like making jokes about it. All right, saying that they're going to expose you, like somebody. Yeah, some not my room, no, not my room. It's the process. Yeah. So this person was like, first of all, this person was talking a lot of mess about you, talking about your 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 spiritual religion. All right, this like this religion could be like um what whatever your spiritual religion. I'm not getting like Christianity. This could be like, turn it on. Like, you know, African spirituality, you know, like the Santeria, such and such. Like, somebody was talking, like, how you talking about, like, how you dabbing in that or, like, you're involved in that and that's not good, that's bad, and they thought you was doing something to them. They're weird. All right, but this is someone that was discriminating against you and then lying, telling people how you have addictions, brainwashing people about you here, all because you are, look, it says religious devoted, devotion. It's like you're devoted to your spirituality. It literally says mystical, so it don't just have to be, you know, religion. That's, and I don't think that's what it is. Somebody wanted you to be left out in the cold spiritually and, and, and you serve them. All right, they wanted you to be their servant and you be serving them spiritually and stuff. That's crazy. And this person was trying to keep this a secret. This The, the karmic that was going around talking about you with people, even friends I'm getting, they was telling them, don't tell you. Look, that's you. You the beauty. Don't tell Impress. Don't tell Divine Feminine. All right? Because if you tell her, she's going to pick something up and pick something up. And she, she's meant to be our servant. All right? We're going to, you know, use her of her of her gifts, skills, and talents. And we're going to spiritually attack her at the same time. That was stupid. How are they going to spiritually attack your gifts and your beauty and, and your power, your energy, in the midst of stealing it from you? I'm confused. And that's why they confused, too, because they just created hoopla and nonsense. And these people don't want to admit it. They thought, like, they was making sense. They were seeing things clear. I don't want I don't want this reading to turn into that because that, that's just going to make me mad. But, you know, you guys definitely have to, like, believe in yourself as well. Okay, somebody may, I'm, I'm seeing somebody like turning their nose up to me saying that you guys are meant to be a celebrity healer. Like somebody's mad because you are in that celebrity status. Like you're, you are 
becoming known, well known, fame, famous. That's the vibe for what you do, just for being intellectual, a philosopher, a healer. All right, it's inventing something. You guys are really smart. Look, I feel like y'all about to have a lot of followers. This karmic called you a follower. All right, because they like they they saying like, oh, you see every everybody else healing into spirituality, and that's what you want. They just mad because they decided to hop on the spiritual train too late. All right, that's what it is, and I don't feel like y'all hopped on any spiritual train. I feel like you guys chose to heal. All right, and the train don't even want them. All right, that's then you're not even on no spiritual train here. You on your own. You listen. You on your own train that you created. This was meant for you guys. It was not meant for them. Not the way they're going. All right, but I feel like that's what's really step like. Put like I'm, I'm getting your in, uh, let me just say how I was saying that is what's stepping you up into this leadership your intellectualness okay you guys are a boss all right a ruler and and, and not a ruler in a, a narcissistic way okay you rule to protect you rule to to bring order and and, and discipline we need all of that okay period point blank all right it's like It's like with this, yeah, with this, with that ruler and psychic. I don't know why I'm seeing this. I, I spirit be showing me things so so many weird ways, but it's like you guys with your psychic gifts and abilities, like you show people what they need to do. It's like you show them what they have to do in order to clear that energy up. All right, but somebody felt like you thought you was trying to be like someone's ruler because of that, because your gifts are telling them what they need to do, and they felt like you were trying to rule or control their life or something like that, like. You can't give everyone advice. Like, they may try to come back around like they want peace. But I feel like some of y'all, like, I don't want peace. All right? I want revolution and justice. I, I don't want peace from you. All right? Somebody could be a wealthy elite. War or up. Yeah, I feel like a war is uprising. Not even just a war that's happening now. I feel like a humanity war. Like, protests and stuff. I see that happening. All right? Region of terror. Wow. Yeah, I see some, some ish coming to the 3D. More collapsing. All right, but, you know, this is sad. Yeah, they were sending y'all psychic attacks so y'all won't tap in, so y'all won't be a psychic. And they thought they could confuse you about what you know as far as, like, you know, herbs and being a healer or herbalist. All right, I'm, I'm hearing a midwife. Some of y'all could be a midwife. It says faith healer. All right, with that faith, I don't know what that specifically means, but I'm just getting you heal other people's faith. All right, you may even use your herbs to help heal people's heart chakra okay you may you know dress up candles burn a candle for people and it works and this person was jealous they did not like the good works you're doing it really irritated them that's what it was they trying to say no it wasn't because you know if you wasn't doing anything to me i would have never said this or felt that no they made all that stuff up because they saw you a psychic and a healer a herbalist okay that's that's what it is that's simply what it is all right i'm gonna just make the thing um There we go. And these people are watching. They never stop watching, y'all. They ne they want you to think that. They want you to feel that way. They never stop watching, y'all. And I feel like y'all know exactly who is watching, y'all. They never stop. And this is someone that wanted to work in the same industry as you, but they're just performing. Like, like they're like, oh, I want to do what you do. I want to read tarot. I want to be a spiritualist. I want to be an herbalist, blah, blah, blah. But they're just performing. They don't really mean that. Yeah, I feel like somebody just want to do magic just to say they know how to do it and, and to... And they know how to do it to um, control people. I feel like that's the only reason why they want to do magic here. And I feel like this is someone that is in poverty with their magic. Like they could have lost their magic. Yeah, I feel like somebody could have suffered, suffered from some type of SA. All right, some type of assault here. Like by like a, a priest or something. Somebody needs to heal. All right, because their power was given away to someone who crossed them. All right, and they want to try to put that on you. It was not you. It was that predator that they dealt with a long time ago. You was not the reason why they lost their power or they're deprived. It's that predator, and I feel like, and and I feel like their own selves as well because they dabbled in stuff they had no business dabbling in. All right, look, fame or recognition, or that standing out. I feel like that's the power that you guys are in, or the power you're stepping into is fame and recognition, a, a position of power, the position. No, it's a position of authority. Sorry. 
thing power, right? But the position that you're in, you're meant to be in that. All right, you are in the right position here. All right, and I feel like this karmic abused their power. That's why they lost their power. All right, and in the midst of them losing, you're leveling up, and it makes them feel a little funny. All right, like, you know, why? Why you and not me? They forget all that they've done. All right, wisdom keeper, fall of similar. I feel like you guys know of know about Atlantis slash Atlantia, Lemuria, other lost civilizations in the stars, even civiliz like civilizations in the stars that, that have not been on Earth. Other star seed civilizations, I feel like y'all tapped into the hidden knowledge and wisdom that's on this Earth and outside of this planet, and karmics felt intimidated by it. They was like, there is no way you know all this, like you stealing this information from me. Even though they never tapped into it, some of them felt like, you know, you you stole that energy from their own crown. Like they like they say the reason why they never got a chance to tap into it is because of you. Like, and they want to say like you judged them, you sent some type of bad judgment or karma, so they won't be able to tap into it. Like somebody felt like you did this in the past life, like before you reincarnated, you you made you did a spell to make sure they never tap in. That's weird because they're tapped in at that moment, picking up on all that stuff. So what spell did you do, Star Seeds, in the past life? This is I'm telling you, this is a loon a tick. This is someone that thought that they was reading and seeing things clearly. Like they was going within, using their intuition, their third eye, to see. But they saw nothing but imagination. Listen, literally their mind was a coloring book. And their third eye was the marker. All right, and they were just creating all these these illusions in their mind and, 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 and allowing it to program their mind. That's all that happened. Nothing else, nothing more, nothing less. This person gets on my nerve. Wanna know why they get on my nerve? Because they're full of crap and they believe everything that comes to their mind, everything that comes out their mouth is true. They get on my nerves. They truly do. They get on my nerve. All right, and, th and I'm getting this. Listen, I'm seeing this person. I feel like y'all truths got on their nerve. That's why they started lying on you guys. All right, you guys, listen, let me let me keep going with what I was saying. All right, they get mad at you when you speak the truth, and they say that you, you know, like, yo, your energy just irritate me because you're not telling the truth because they, they got this illusion in their mind that you are this, this, this monster from a past life that's here to suck their blood and eat their hair and and roll them in the dirt and and burn them and and, and like come, stop i don't even, i can't even be colorful as them and with their imagination stuff i just can't i tried and i can't all right because it's just it's too much but you guys are a wise because you look wise and you look spiritual you look serious about it and people need to like take you seriously you're well informed by the stars from the stars you receive information from the stars right you are the wounded healer and you're very enlightened they can't take that from you that's why you guys get to be in this rulership this leadership this boss and you have these followers that support you if you have followers all right because you guys are enlightened you are the true wounded healer and warrior so what you've gone through you you ain't just saying you've gone through it just because no, you've really gone through it. and people can tell you learned from experience you can just feel it on people you can tell the people that's full of crap that's just talking because they heard somebody else saying and they're thinking that's what they last karma did to them even the karma that karma ain't even worrying about them the karmas that we deal with those are the ones that be out here thinking people worrying about them that's not worrying about them all right and we are the ones that actually you know and they call us karmics that's weird how they come call us karmic, but we are the ones that actually deal with people that accuse others of doing stuff that's not doing anything to them, that be living in delusion, all right, that believe every lie that come out their mouth, that believe every thought. Like it's not every not everyone deals with these type of people. Most people do throughout their life. But I feel like y'all got like attacked by like a whole bunch of like a legion of demons. And it was these people. They were the demons, and it was jumping on you like they like. I I wouldn't. I would be a bit traumatized from ex this experience too, because I could feel like y'all could be a bit, you know, dizzy from this because you you done saw and felt so much from this energy. I I I would I would not be. I'm sorry. Uh, what am I saying? I was. I would not be surprised. All right, if you guys um yeah, I would not be surprised if you guys are in that energy, but I. <laughs> It was, I, it's like it came out, it was, I was thinking it one way in my head, but it came out no way. Anyway, let me just keep going. Y'all see the real me. Y'all see how my mind work. 
all right my mind ain't perfect but you know i see enough all right but anyway i would not be surprised if you guys do say that this caused you to be dizzy all right because and maybe these karmas are surprised because you, you you see things so clearly but yet you still dizzy it's because this is a spiral like you want to know why your third eye may feel dizzy or fuzzy sometimes because this is a spiral they're putting you in the spiraling moment all right it's like over like and it could be like a spiraling cycle like that and i feel like they want to drive they, listen this is literally them like spinning you around to drive you crazy but it's not working and, and they forget they're spinning around too when you grabbing somebody and you spinning around, your ass is dizzy too. All right, then the kid is actually having way more fun. All right, because they got the you know they in the air more, but you dizzy too, and you gotta have the strength to hold that child. You can't be weak. All right, so you gotta be able to spin them around a few times. You can't spin them twice and be like, ah, oh, my back. You know, and that's what's what's happening with them. They they forgot they got to spin around too to make you dizzy. Now they they throwing up while they dizzy like vomiting and stuff like you do too much you do too much and this person was trying to like handle your money and and i feel like you know they went to war with you over their sick and twisted mindset this is someone they 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 need an awakening they need a rejuvenation they they need some judgment too to, to i feel like this karma is going to give them some clarity it is to show them like this this ain't the one we want to mess with and and you should not be wanting to be the one to mess with anybody that way you're you're putting yourself on the front line to 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 get messed up by anybody you just putting yourself out there literally all right because they always come back around but i feel like somebody household is like very dysfunctional right now like it could be a lot of arguments fighting like a dynamite a dynamite is going like like literally somebody household is like an explosion you know and, and it's like it's bad you guys it's bad bad okay some of y'all could have gotten to something recently in your home or whatever like that but i feel like that's separate from what i'm picking up on like i'm i'm telling it is it's, it's something came back around these karma it's like a dynamite went off in somebody's house like somebody's house like it's like exploded like it's like i feel like it's fighting conflict so i'm telling you their ritual got delivered back to their house and it, and it was like a bomb of confusion a ticking listen i'm hearing a ticking time bomb of confusion i feel like this energy was being sent back and i feel like the time was now for it to go off okay then they did not know that a lot of spells got sent back to them yeah the devil is watching them and they're scared of being um unalive this is a loss so i'm tired of getting this energy they should never call this devil in sending this demon after you a queen of cups because you see things because you a psychic didn't i say that all right, this is sad. If this was someone that was your family, y'all definitely done with your family. This is nonsense. Somebody better be careful. It could be a gas leak going on in somebody's house. Somebody's house may explode. All right, I don't know. I don't like that. Some, who got a gas stove? Even let your stove. Just be careful, but I'm just getting a gas leak. All right, I feel like, you know, with this Ada, because I keep getting this Ada, because like you guys, I feel like you guys are emotionally detached from the karmics, but they are not emotionally detached from you. It should be on the floor or in your bed or some on the bed. Yeah, I feel like you guys are focused on happy emotions. You know, if you deal with them, even think of them, it's going to bring you down. You do everything in your willpower to be in positive energy. I feel like it's them. I was listening. I went to the park today. And I, even throughout the me and being in the park, I was still feeling that heaviness. And, you know, I'm a reader. You know, I'm going to pick up these things for you guys. But I feel like... That's that's what I'm pretty much is. I feel like that thought that happened to me for a reason because I'm seeing myself like I'm going back in the past and I'm seeing myself like going through that and it's like in the midst of y'all like focusing on happiness maybe going to a part two going out yeah I feel in the karma pulling on you and that's a sign to let you know that they're stuck they're like stuck like this is like someone in their bed just thinking about what they've done thinking about the evilness and the wickedness and, and they can't undo it. Bless you. This is this could be someone that's saying, like, I, I can't do evil. I can't be, like, now they can't because the evil that they try to do did not work, all right? But, you know, y'all walked away from somebody. I'm getting Capricorn energy, but we have Aries here, Aries twice, and Scorpio. All right, Pisces there, Virgo, Eight of Pentacles. I feel like y'all walked away from the eight, eight here, all right? Y'all got abundance on it. Isn't this the, the year of abundance, too? It is. All right, I feel like y'all walked away from somebody, a person, place, and a thing, or a person, place, or thing, and y'all started working on yourself, started working on a business, y'all started crafting or creating something, and I feel like this could be like a business. I'm getting like maintaining, like you could be maintaining right now what you what you created, all right, what you worked on, 
And like y'all could be self-employed. Y'all could even work on getting a new job. Like did the work you need to do to get a new job. Maybe this is fixing your resume, clean up your energy or whatever like that. Or this is like y'all being self-employed. Establish establishment of business. Like y'all could establish your own business. And these karmics they was hating on that. Like these could have been witches, secret witches here. Yeah, look, trade. Some of y'all may trade like Bitcoin or something like that. I feel like um your reputation, I'm getting it's gonna be like big. Just be patient with yourself and the work, the hard work you're putting in. Good things take time. And, you know, they do say what takes a while lasts longer, right? But it says repetition here. So I feel like you guys may get up and grind every day. All right, keep doing that or y'all getting prepared to do so. Just know I see y'all fulfilling that achievement. Y'all have a, a certain goal or a grind. I'm hearing a petition. Y'all could be petitioning something right now. Think positive. I feel like the results are in, and I feel like it's going to be some good results. All right, so it's craft, quality, master, expertise. I feel like you guys are a master and an expert at your craft. Even if it's like a master expert chef, a master expert fashion designer, all right, makeup artist, all right, um tarot reader i'm just mixing i'm just throwing in other stuff too because i mean some of y'all you know even though y'all herbalist y'all know you're herbalist y'all may do other stuff on the side like y'all very crafty y'all wear many hats okay so that's just a few other things but i feel like you guys are a master and expertise at the tarot your psychic gifts and abilities what you see in your third with your third eye yeah i didn't even see this high priest at the bottom everything happened for a reason i said that for a reason and now i'm seeing it all right i feel like the main thing with you, your main focus is like your spirituality, your 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 spiritual awakening, your third eye awakening. And I feel like you guys are working real hard, determined, dedicated, and committed to your spiritual growth, the spiritual work that you're doing. Like you guys could be creating a strong spiritual foundation. I'm here and setting spiritual foundation. Good girl. I'm glad. All right. And I feel like... For some of you guys, y'all could definitely be an earth guide. And one of these karmics could have came to you begging for help. I'm I'm getting begging. All right, this could even be in the near future. All right, I've been warning y'all about that too. A karmic trying to come back around asking for help. I've, I've been telling y'all it's coming up again. Y'all better believe me. All right, hermit energy here. All right, Virgo vibes. Okay, but also for some of you guys, a karmic is going to try to come in your energy cloaked. Like, I'm getting, they're not, they're not going to want you to know what's them. Like, they could be trying to text you from a fake no not from a fake number no like a fake account like this like if y'all check out resonate if y'all psychics online or you do some type of provide some type of service online they are like talking to you from a fake account that's not their picture that's not their name they don't want you to know it's them because they know they're gonna you're gonna deny them reject them but they they really want to talk to you like they just really want to like be like this is a sicko in their mind this is normal but in reality it's like no, and I feel like this is someone that's trying to turn your mind to be, like, you know, sick. Like, you know, you will, like, look at all these sick, twisted things as normal. Like, it's normal, you know, for a person. Like, I, I mean, I see both sides. I have the ability to see both sides of a situation. So I can see, man, I can show a crazy person compassion because I can see where it comes from, trauma. But that don't mean that I, I'm opening up my heart to you. Like, I understand, you know, you've gone through this, that, and the third all right, but you need to stop projecting traumas on people. All right, you need to stop. All right, that's like, you know, and maybe y'all have that ability too to see both sides. But it's like, I feel like a part of you guys don't want to see things the way that they see it as well. Like, they trying to show you their side, their way. But that's a crazy way. And I feel like y'all understand why they see it that way, though. It's because they're traumatized. Like, they may not mean it or get it. But at the same time, I feel like they may not mean what they do because... I feel like they can't, they, they don't have control over, like, their emotions or themselves, all right? But I feel like they do mean it at the same time. Like, they want to hurt you, but I feel like, and I, I hate to say it, it's that so normal, all right? Yeah, they want to hurt you, but it's, like, it's outside of their own action. Like, I feel like, I feel like this person is possessed, and it's making them do a little bit more than, than, than what they'll normally do. Make them say things outside of what they would normally say. All right, that's what I truly, honestly feel. You can feel the spirit on them. But whoever is trying to come into your energy cloaked, you're going to pick up on the fact that they're cloaked. All right, you're going to know, like, it's them. Like, you're going to feel it. And that's up to you guys to either block them out or or 
you know, talk to them, I guess. But I doubt y'all would talk to them. And I feel like this person wants you to feel like you're going to lose your life if you don't talk to them. I'm going to make sure you lose your life. Like, this is sick. And, and I feel like this, even though this person done tried in the past and failed, they still could be trying. I'm telling you. I feel like they, they still could be, like, saying things, thinking of certain things here. This tower, no. They was talking about y'all recently. This person, I feel like their tower missed you. The tower that they tried to send you missed you and went to them. They thought it missed them, but it's on top of their head, on their crown. Like somebody could be having a going through like a whole explosive moment mentally. Like they're just like, ah. like from here for two days straight, somebody just could have been, you know, on a rampage. Why am I here rumbling? All right, and then like. Like, somebody could be, like, mumbling things as well. Like, I'm telling you, somebody could be possessed. All right? I'm, I'm dead ass. Like, I'm serious. All right? Yeah, somebody was sending something towards you. Like, somebody, yeah, it says foresight here. I feel like somebody was envisioning something bad happening to you guys. And it, and, and it happened to them. Like, this person thought they was cloaked. They thought their spell was cloaked. Like, they can cloak the spell where it won't come back around onto them. Or you won't see the spell, so you won't send it back on to them, and spirit won't see it. They was really calculated, but it did not work. Y'all, they tried to send you so many towers, it's not even funny. I feel like y'all about to have a huge spiritual breakthrough. Y'all about to jump a huge timeline here, many timelines. Y'all about to have a huge, powerful spiritual breakthrough here. Y'all about to see yourselves come up and level up. These karmics wanted to level up with you, but they didn't want to do the work. They wanted to feed off of your energy and be like, yeah, I done that. Yeah, I know this, but they never done anything. And I feel like this is someone that is trying to project, like they're not dealing with any conflict or conflict at home, but they are, bless you. Like somebody could be going to work. You know, saying they're not dealing with anything at home, but they are like somebody could like this could be you guys too. I'm seeing that for some of you guys, y'all could have been dealing with something very hurtful at home. It could have been come from this karmic energy. Y'all could have been going through a lot of arguments with this karmic. Just know they have an explosive moment right now. Like they're having falling outs, can't get along with people, even people that they're working with and their work colleagues. All right, y'all, listen, what y'all was going through with this person, they're going through it now, but it's all by themselves. You not a part of that. And they could be arguing with people at work. Like, I ain't going through anything. I ain't going through ish. You know, they cursing out somebody at the job. F you. You know, somebody had a blow up at work. Somebody was also, like, threatening you at work. I don't know. Was y'all working at the same place? Cause this is like, or this was like your coworker, right? They were saying they like threatening your life, like I'll do this, I'll unalive you, I'll spit on you, like, like, like this was some, cra like they was even trying to spit on y'all, like this was bad. And and how the way this person was reacting had certain people thinking you was doing something to them. No, 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 no. They was trying to conf conf um confuse and com um and convince people them acting that way is because of you. But they should not allow you to make them act that way, especially if they know you doing something. Like, they could handle it better. Acting that way is not going to handle it anything. They're not, I don't, listen, people don't believe them. People believe they're blowing up because they want to think negative. They want to think in a low vibe and they're just mad at life. Like, that's their own fault. And I feel like this is someone that's putting in small work. They're not putting in enough work. All right. And then this is someone that may not even be giving spirit enough offerings. They're asking the spirits for something big, but they're not giving a big offering. At least leave them a platter of, of some food. You know, y'all can even leave vegetables and fruits. You don't always have to, to cook it. Sometimes, you know, you can cook the food or you can leave them. Some, some spirits, they love yams, sweet potatoes. Wash the sweet potatoes and stuff and just leave them there. They will just enjoy that. All right, you can leave them some fruits, cantaloupe. You can just leave them a platter of just vegetables and fruits, if you if you will. Or you can cook them some food, you can leave them some candy, you can leave them some drinks. You know, but this is somebody, I feel like they, I'm hearing, wow. This person wasted their money trying to make a, I, they wasted their money. Alright, I'm hearing trying to make a sacrifice work. But they paid for the sacrifice to work here against you. They wanted your power. And they told everybody how they're going to take your power, take your energy. This is why they going effing crazy. No, no, don't show me. I know, but she's so cute, right? 
Yeah, and I feel like this person was saying they see you working against them. They see you working as a team or a group to, like, you know, take their their life. I'm hearing their life. This could be someone that going, like, live or something like that. What? I'm not even about to go there. But Spirit told me something wild. This person is, is schizo, schizophrenic crazy. And it's not a joke or a game. They need to get their mental health together because they're playing around with life as a game. It's their mental health, their mental illness, and it is schizophrenic. I mean, schizophrenia. They want to say it's not schizophrenia. I'm not schizophrenic. That's It is because they be in fear thinking that they see this. That's happening. They're crazy. Okay, they don't they don't have a good heart. All right, they only they only have a good heart for themselves. And this is someone that be in the background stressing over y'all relationship, like stressing like why y'all not together still. Some, somebody was asking the devil why y'all not together, why y'all not still together. That's sick. Somebody was asking the devil about y'all past lives. I'm telling you, I'm not making this ish up. This is for somebody. Um, I don't know if y'all going live. Somebody was doing a ritual on you while you was going live to see if the ritual was going to work at that moment, and they was trying to take your um your spirit. That's all I'm gonna say. I ain't gonna look. Karma can't listen. Justice came out. I right, wanted to anyway. All right, listen. Karmic justice for an impress. You about to receive your um your karmic justice all right for what these people done done to you these people may when they hear that they may think oh you're about to receive karmic justice or you're about to receive karma blah, 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 blah. that's not what it means all right you're about to receive justice for what these mofos did to you karmic justice at that a special type of justice and, and they they still crying over you they're crying over you now they could ask you to marry them you told them no they still crying over that rejection they, they still crying over you rejecting them and they thought you was going to be crying with them rejecting you and them bullying you and harassing you and doing all this crazy stuff. All these people are looking at themselves as crazy now. And a lot of them did not care. They're like, I don't care. I'm crazy. Like, they gave up on life and themselves. And they shouldn't be mad when that big day comes for, for the reaper to reap what they sown. Because they said they didn't care. They gave up on life. They did not give a F. All right? They did not care. Yeah, they, they, listen. I'm getting, listen. This is what's really heavy for them. I'm hearing their life cycle is complete. Why am I hearing um, obsolete? I don't know what that means. Obsolete. Whoa. Obsolete. Whoa. No longer produced or used out of date. Part of a characteristic of organisms. You, you know that this earth is a living organism. You know what I got with that out of date? Out of no longer no longer use or out of date, like Mother Gaia don't need them no more. Their little polarity that they bring on this planet is outdated. And it's too late for them to fix it because what they did in the in the past is affecting the present right now. So it was meant. It was meant for them to do this. I do feel this way, not to harm you, but for themselves. Alright, is to teach them a lesson. This was just listen, listen. I'm getting this was I'm just getting like this was meant. To circle back around, but I'm just getting also like a lot of this. There's a lot of meanings and purposes in this cycle, all right. But when I said what they did in the past is affecting their present, and spirit showed me like this is how you know this is meant to be. Like what's everything like this domino effect is meant because of what they did in the past is catching up to them now, all right. It was almost like meant to happen for their own destiny, for their own journey, because what they did had nothing to do with y'all it shows the type of person that they are the type of mindset they they have the type of morals and ethics they have more all right this just shows you their true self all right not the fact that they doing spell work but the mere fact that they're they're thinking in their mind that they can do the type of spells that they was doing thinking in their mind that they was right to do this thinking in their mind that it's okay they're not going to get caught they're going to live a fulfilling good life after they done harmed you because you broke up with them. You told them about themselves. You know, they felt judged. 
they 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 felt like they they felt some type of way because you made them question them themselves and they never felt that way even though they was questioning themselves since a child and like i said you not the reason why they don't have no power whoever made them feel some type of way as a kid they need to deal with that they need to tell them parents their parents about that they don't need to be telling you guys about that okay listen y'all i'm not i am jamaican my dad but i ain't from there but Sometimes some things I say it is it's my answers be flowing out, okay? But um, yeah, y'all. Somebody was was saying that I'm not Jamaican. I'm hearing that. Well, I ain't from there, but I went there. My dad is. Y'all just be hating when people have a little Caribbean in their blood. Well, a lot. I have a lot of Caribbean. I'm gonna say little. You y'all be hating though. You wanna turn it off? Y'all be hating. Y'all y'all haters out there. Y'all think y'all the only ones. Y'all y'all the ones that's out of date with Mother Gaia. And this person know they lost their life. They know it. Be, they lost their life. They know they lost their life. I'm getting and I, and this card fell on the impress. Alright? And I'm hold on. I'm getting they lost their life. It's like this person challenged you to a duel and they lost to you guys <coughs> and it resulted in and you know what they lost their life they was they bargained their life like i'll bet my soul that i'll defeat you y'all ain't have to bet anything because y'all sitting where y'all meant to sit double time and y'all beautiful heavenly palace y'all listen y'all ain't have to do anything y'all knew to listen Y'all higher self. If y'all didn't know, your higher self knew this person was gonna lose because they're they 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 they're not a match. Even though they're delusional and they thought they were, they're not a match. Okay, and this is listen. This King of Cups here. I feel like y'all had a false King of Cups watching you guys. He thinks so small. He have a small mind. He's small minded. Even though he may appear to be emotionally intelligent, immature, uh, empath, intuitive. Please, he's a manipulator. He manip he he loves to manipulate people by coming off as wise. You know, um, I'm hearing a miser. Mm. He likes to fool people by by coming off very mature and wise. All right, and I feel like there's a false queen of swords that does that too. All right, they like to um pretend like they like they're so mature and wise. Like they like they have to get the gap. They know what to say to people to get their mind manipulated and, and believing in them. Like, that's a curse. That's a curse. That's that's not a good thing. To be out here lying and manipulating, ain't nobody going to believe you. You the boy that cry wolf. But, all right, but he thinks small, but he don't think that he does. And this queen of swords, she thinks she's better than you. She thinks that she's more intelligent. She got this big head here. She thinks she's more intuitive. She's like, I don't need the spirits the way you do to know what I know. Like, I'm, I'm a way high, more high vibrational earth angel than you. Like, these are people that are kids. Like, they like putting on the costume of an earth angel now they're like i'm an earth angel and you know i don't have to you know be on that level like these are people man it i feel like it really you know it really makes me mad and i feel like it makes i feel like it makes everybody mad hearing these type of karmics say like i'm not that type of earth angel i'm that earth angel where i feel everything you know, and, and you know, I, I, and I know things without even knowing that it's true or not. I just know. Like, those type of people, like, so shallow and full of themselves. Like, I'm, 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 I'm this type of earth angel because, you know, I'm, I'm intuitive. I'm so high level. And, you know, I don't have to show you my power because I know I'm powerful. And then in the background doing dark spells. Like, you, you mock spirituality. You only like it because it's a game for you to play with magic. To say I'm intuitive and I know what you're saying. I know I know what your mind is saying. I can read your mind. And then going around telling people how you can read minds. And when they ask me what 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 am I thinking about? You may be right on a few things. Alright, or they want you to feel like you're right. <laughs> Alright, but I don't think this karmic is reading any minds. Alright, maybe this karmic was right about a few stuff. This foresight and then with the sun. All right, they could have definitely saw some things clearly, gave them some clarity. But I feel like all that high vibe, like all that high vibrational stuff that they claim they tap it into, no, they probably could have saw. Like if somebody, 
if like if if like somebody came to them and asked them for some advice, like you know, there's high level psychics and low level psychics. They are that's true. All right, I was watching the podcast and this brother said that you have to, and and you know I was like even I don't like to look at his class, but it's true. You you have to level yourself up as a psychic. You have those psychics that can that they can tell you if a man is cheating on you. He can they they can see what's in the 3D, but they can't see what's in the 5D. That's the type of psychic this person is. Like they can see. You know, they may even claim, I can see what's on you, I can see, what, and then when they look into somebody's energy, <coughs> they can't see, like, what the devil or the demon or the attachment. But they can see if somebody's lying or cheating, maybe. I'm getting, they can't even see that. They may have saw, like, a few things that gave them clarity about themselves, like, yeah, like, maybe they're clairvoyant or whatever like that. But they really was not tapping into them high, higher realms, dimension, like you guys. I feel like, nah, man, this, listen, you see, I'm done. I'm done. I pulled some, I knew something was off and fishy. This person was definitely feeding off of your intuition. You want to know the, the stuff that they claim they foresaw and that they gained clarity on? Because like I said, I was saying, seeing that they was getting clarity. It was stuff that you said. It was stuff that you told them about them. Like, you could have told them, like, yeah, you have a gift. Like, yeah, you know. Even stuff that they, like, I'm getting something like, you know, with their third eye. Like, you could have confirmed, like, their third eye could be open. You could have confirmed, you know, ways on how they can open it. And they did that. They did what you told them to do and it worked. You get what I'm saying? You could have gave them some some intellectual, like, an intellectual um, lesson. You know, share some of your knowledge and wisdom. And they going around telling people, what you said, but they making it seem like they said it. I knew something was off. It's your gift that they feeding off of this 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 farting masculine. She's farting too. They both. I'm getting their gassy because they're bubble guts. They nervous right now. All right, but they was feeding off of your intuitive gifts. Whatever you say, they say. Whatever you said, whatever this is, I'm getting with this Queen of Swords. I'm actually getting somebody that's intelligent, not that false one. All right, when 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 when, when you speak about. Into anything that's intellectual, God, universe, spirituality. Here they come, like, yeah, yeah, that's true. And they're going around their little friends, co-workers. Oh, you know I picked up on this? You know God and Spirit showed me that? That's a lie. You said it. And and you could have shared that with them. And, and that's good that they they received the perspective. But they took it. They, they really didn't receive it well because they're going around telling people, like, they said this, they came up with that. And it gave them power. It did. That knowledge gave them power. Knowledge is power. It gave them power. It made them feel special, wise, intuitive, intellectual. All right? But they did not channel that on their own. This person is so mad that time is not running out for you. They're mad that time is not running out for you. If anything, it's like time is like slowing down so you will have enough time. Are you going to you wanna live a long life? All right, these people are doing on the live spells on you because you're a high priestess. Yup, and a higher fan. All right, you a high priest, high priestess, either high priest or high priestess, and they was fighting. They had conflict with your crown, your crown, and especially this false queen of pentacles that have been left down the cold by the ancestors who thought, and she thought she was chosen. She had issues with your crown. She felt like you stole her crown. That's weird. How you stole her crown and she supposed to be wearing her crown? That's weird. All right, then she would try to like break it down and manipulate it into, to, to, to make it seem like it was like, yeah, you did steal it because of this and because of that. Like, stop. Mm-mm. Yeah. yeah, it's your gifts. It's your spiritual gift that got these people delusional. It's sad, y'all. It's sad how your, your, like, you know, light is blinding. Your light was so damn blinding, it's, it, it's, it, it spired them out into delusion because they couldn't figure you out. They couldn't understand why your why your light gotta shine so bright. Why why you divine temperance? Why you you look like a regular person, but you say you a star seed alien? And I and 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 I know it's true. I can just see it. But I I you know I it's like they see it, but they don't see it. All right, you wanna know why they don't see it? Cause they don't wanna see it. When when they see it too much, they get scared. But they they y'all, I'm telling you, your light caused them to be delusional. It did because because it was they couldn't believe it. They was they they was amazed and and it, and it spiraled them out into delusion. They couldn't figure you out and they tried so many different ways to take you out, take you down, to stop you. This is someone that's very emotionally immature. This could be an insecure female, emotionally immature female. She don't know how to handle her emotions. She know that. All right, and this King of Cups, he and this False King, of, they they both false. 
All right, I didn't mean to say King of Cups, King of Wands, King of Pentacles here. They being this this karmic masculine as a whole, this childish karmic masculine that's trying to hide his inner child, his childish ways. All right, he is being slowed down. All right, he yeah, and spirit, listen, spirit is holding him back. He has to be restricted. I'm literally seeing like his hands being tied behind his back. All right, yeah, I feel like somebody's going to end up going to jail. All right, I do feel that. All right, I feel like it's coming. Somebody, I feel like these, there was, I feel like there was a karmic female specifically that could have been helping this karmic masculine. They was doing spells to send you to jail, to like change your future into like jail time. Yeah, they wanted you in confinement. Solid, I'm, what am I hearing? Solitary confinement? I, did I say that right? All right, I think I did. All right, and I feel like they wanted you in a mental institution. All right, this King of Wands, man, his mind is spiraling. He's delusional. All right, he he I don't even, he don't know who he is. All right, even though I'm getting the King of Wands, he thinks that he's a, a whole nother king. You know, he may think that he is this King of Pentacles. All right, like this is someone that may look at themselves in the mirror and be like, "I'm the King of Pentacles. I'm the I'm wealthy. I'm this." But that's not the energy that they're in. Like this is some they got some some energy on them like the king of, i'm not listen let me put this in reverse because i'm getting someone very nasty this is a nasty man he even carry himself very nasty him I, mean, I say him his, his himself so the other karmic around him they, they're all nasty they're like pigs it's like they're living in a sty you get what i'm saying a pig sty all right this is nasty he's a nasty man how dare he be abusive and he's so nasty all right he think he's this sophisticated clean king of you're a nasty man this is he don't wipe his behind when he used the bathroom well he don't wipe it well he got some nerve to be rude he got some nerve to call people slow and stupid and childish and 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 and, and, and it's like his head been like cracked open i'm literally seeing his head is like a nut like a walnut that been cracked open his head is hard but but it's still penetrable I hope I, I hope I said that right. You, you know, you can still bang on it and crack it. Like, this is an idiot. Somebody's skull could be cracked here. Somebody could have cracked their own skull. Somebody may try to bust their head open. This is the entity that's possessing them. Okay, listen. Some I'm not going there, spirit. Why they had to do some wicked and demonic-ish like that? Some, I don't like seeing everything. This is why the demon is... is, is, is 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 feeding off of them so much. So this is about the demon on them. Period. You don't try like when once you involve children and your stuff. That's it. And you and this person, they like they was imagining your kids going through what they going through with this demon. Like they wanted your child to like fight it. Like this this is a sick fuck. This is a sick twisted fuck. And they deserve to be put in the ground. They know like. And I'm not, I don't mean like unalive. No, I, I prefer them in a cage on the ground. All right. Yeah. Like, you see how they have these underground prisons that they keep hitting? They need to be there. All right. Them reps need to pick up their little cousin and put them on the ground. Okay. That's what they need to do. All right. Because this, this weirdo is causing too much chaos. He's doing too much. This weirdo is causing too much. All right. I feel like that. Listen, I feel like they took Epstein out because um he was too reckless. And, and whatever he did, whatever he did in the past, they knew it was going to catch up to him. That's why they, they allowed him to fall. All right? Then he did something reckless, and it caught up to him. It did, and, and, and the elites knew it, so they had to take him out. All right? People saying that's what happened with Diddy. I feel like Diddy time is just up. I feel like his contract is over. All right? I mean, he's still going to be who he is. He just not, he just not going to be in that same limelight and spotlight anymore. Like this is someone I could have thought they was a, a celebrity. Or, this person thought they was like like King. They call they like, this person called him King Diddy. Like, or maybe Diddy called himself that at times. I don't know. But this is someone that was like they were thinking like they was like Diddy. Like I'm a torture females. I'm gonna make all this money off of torturing females. What a weirdo. And everybody's looking at them like weird. Like they're like, how am I weird for wanting to hurt a female? She hurt me. How am I weird? You know, I I wanna I should wanna hurt anybody. Forget morals and and, and principle and maturity. You know, if I wanna hurt someone, I'ma hurt them. That's like that's what children do. And 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 then they would then they would say, you know, children don't do that. And none of my children do that. But yeah, they acting like a kid. I'm confused. I'm so confused by what they say. They have they 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 argue against everything you say. When you say they childish, they'll get mad and be like. You know, I ain't seeing things childishly. That don't make no sense how I'm being child. What child, you know, act like this? I'm a grown man. You see a child out here driving a car, doing what I'm doing. 
No, but children they love to think that they can do what they want and they won't get caught. A lot of children love to be sneaky. A lot of children love to lie. A lot of children love to, you know, react opposed to respond. And typically those are the children that do bad things. So it's not when we say acting childish, like you like it's, it's literally a bad child. An amateur child, a child that is that got into trouble. We ain't talking about these good kids. So and you know that you just you just dumbed yourself down into believing that, and I'm getting that this person tried to dumb down your mind a lot, your thought process like they wanted you to think very low vibrational, even think about like dumb things because they think about dumb things, like they just think about random dumb stupid stuff. These people, they need to stop doing spells and rituals on you. It's not going to change your reality. It's just going to make them more and more schizophrenic. All right, somebody may even be trying to like, y'all. I'm getting that. I'm, I'm I don't know who this for. This can even be for me, but somebody try to try to lock you up because you could have called them out for being mentally ill. Like they're like, I'm gonna call the cops on you because you trying to make me mentally ill, or I'm gonna tell the cops that I fear for my life because of you. Like lying to the police and making it seem like you the criminal, and the police looking at them like, ain't no way you a female harming this this, this big grown man or woman. You know, like, they need to get a life, all right? It's your gifts, all right? You see you see this Holy Grail, all right? You got two dang Holy Grails. You Listen, you've been leveled up to uh, to receive another Holy Grail. I see I'm here, you've been leveled up to another Holy Grail. All right, so you got two. Not like it's a replacement. No, you got two. You seeing, you seeing double. It's, I don't, somebody could be seeing double. But some of that seeing double, y'all could be seeing a lot. Y'all could be seeing from your perspective and somebody else's perspective. Yeah, y'all too damn gifted. Definitely get yourself balanced. All right, because you you feeling and seeing too much. These people pulling on you while you doing your thing. They pulling on you. Y'all just y'all definitely balance yourself out for sure. Because y'all y'all too damn high vibrational right now, and 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 not not, not a problem. That ain't a die vibration. But I feel like you guys are feeling things at like a, a high rate too, and you need to get balanced. All right, your high vibration is the reason why you're picking up on so much. Your senses is like you're very much transcendent right now. All right. But y'all divine, though. I see it. This is divine energy. The Holy Trinity. Mind, body, and spirit connected. All right, you guys are um divine. I'm hearing divine protection. Yeah, and this is what this bullshit Queen of Wands wanted. And that King of Wands, that nasty, dirty, disgusting King of Wands. Your divineness. I'm getting bored with this karmic energy. They just need to stop trying to look in, they need to stop trying to look into your energy and doing spells because the more they look into the energy, the more they become confused. All right. Some of them is confused. Like how how you get to become a celebrity healer, a celebrity herbalist. Why why that can't be for me? You never said that it wasn't. They need to heal though. All right, God never said that. All right, they need to heal first. And you know, Maybe, you know, and I don't know, y'all. Look, candle magic, and I knew this was going to come out. I knew it. They're doing candle magic on you right now, and they don't want you to see. These people are weird. It's like they will, like, pop. I'm hearing they'll pop up on your live. Be watching you all, like, trying to see what, like, they weird. Y'all weird. Why y'all on my live? And you doing candle magic. You a weirdo. Doing magic on our light. You know you weird doing this. this. This does not make you more spiritual. You know your candle magic disconnecting you more and more from your spirit, right? You can watch so much videos that talk about the goodness of candle magic. That don't apply to you because you ain't doing no good candle magic, dummy. Alright, you don't like people telling you about yourself because you're an idiot. And you're fake and two-faced it. Okay, go your own way, karmic. You don't like when people tell you to move on because, yeah... They don't like it. I just called them. The devil came out of them. Anywho, you're a waste of time. Go your own way, karmic. Okay? Let us go. Because we don't want nothing to do with you. We belong where we are. And you're not going to change that. And, and I feel like a lot of you guys, light, listen, the inner light within you is activated. That's your compass. And you're going your own way. Leave her alone. Your light is guiding you. And if you guys do candle magic, your candle magic is guiding you too. All right, I don't know what it, that could be a manifestation here. All right, y'all keep doing y'all candle magic. All right, they ain't nobody said they couldn't do candle magic. They just can't do candle magic on you. You can manifest some some prosperity, dummy, but don't be manifesting prosperity by feeding off of somebody else, idiot. All right, y'all in a good frequency, a good vibration. All right, I'm here to come to who you talking to? Who you talking about? You, 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 you. 
That's who I'm talking about. You, dummy, the dummy out there that's watching, that's thinking that they can do all this stuff. Close my door. Okay? Oh, that that love to talk about people and, you know, attack people too. I'm talking about your idiot self. Look, if y'all doing candle magic to level up, keep doing that. And dumb, dumb idiot that's doing candle magic against us, do this for a change. Do this for a change. Maybe life will change for you gracefully. But, hi. But the more that you project on our light, the more you're going to remain stuck. And spirit yeah. is not going to gift you because you're projecting hate, <laughs> hatred, and sickness, Probably. and mental illness. You mad because somebody called you mentally ill. You are. That is what you are. That is who you are. All right, you need to go get that fixed. The reason why I'm saying it this way because this person ain't taking it seriously. Take it seriously because you're going to end up hurting somebody. You're already hurting yourself. You're going to end up really hurting somebody, and then you're going to be sitting in regret. All right? I feel like a lot of these comments are copying off of you because your light is shining, and they wanted to they wanted to shine their light like you. And a lot of them are denying, I wasn't copying you. No, I wasn't. I mean, it looked like I was, but I wasn't. I promise you. I swear. You see, these I people copied you because they know you are that direct medium bridge to the spirits. And they know whatever the spirits is telling you is the truth because they know you are a truth teller. Yeah, what you're seeking is seeking you. This is y'all following, y'all purpose, y'all destiny. All right, somebody live in the Bronx, Queens. Some of y'all could be moving to the Bronx, Queens, Brooklyn, New Jersey, Manhattan. All right, this is like a New York deck. All right, some of y'all could be up north or moving up north. Some of these karmas could be thinking about moving away. Go, bye. Go. If you think about going up north, bye. We damn sure don't want you here. All right, but this is y'all following your destiny. The karmics did not like it. They was jealous of you following your destiny. They thought you following. They, they listen. They thought you following your destiny would mean something bad for them. They're an idiot. All right, but what I'm also getting is like this person. No, you reading tarot, being a spiritualist, a herbalist, is you following your destiny, and and they hate that for you because that sh that shows them that they're not chosen. Are you? They, that doesn't mean they ain't chosen. They may not be chosen to read tarot, but that don't mean that they ain't chosen for the 5D, this new reality. What well, y'all so fixed on being chosen to read tarot? You're not even fixed on trying to be chosen for the 5D, what you need healing for, essentially. You think the tarot is the is the key to the 5D? It's not, because a lot of false tarot readers are falling. It's definitely not the key. It's healing, you idiot. Had problems with you following your destiny. But a lot of these people, they, 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 back then and they still, listen, back then they thought this and they still do now. They thought that you guys were special because you read tarot and, and you're so good at it. Like, they know this is your destiny and they want the spirits to bless them like how the spirits blessed you. Sometimes love is our destiny. Sometimes just marrying the one for us and having a content, peaceful life is our destiny. Because we done been through so much in our past life. And we're helping people along the way. We're helping friends, strangers, whoever. It's not always being in this spiritual community, you know, at war with the star beings, knowing about the, the you know, the, um, the intel from the star. It's not all about that. All right, yeah, I feel like somebody was looking down at you saying you ain't got no gifts. You're not receiving any gifts. And they see you receiving gifts. And they see you got a lot of spiritual gifts. You so damn gifted. You seeing two damn perspectives. You're reading. Listen, you you listen. You could be reading two different people's mind. Get grounded because you too damn leveled up. And it's like, listen, it's not going to be in a high vibration. All right, but I feel like you too damn. Like. You like, uh, it's, I'm thinking of that card, balance spirituality and practicality. It's like you could be seeing too much. It's causing you to be delusional, all right, or well, be in that state of delusion a little bit. Or it could even be like having you dizzy because you're picking up on so much, all right? But what you're picking up on is right, but it's just following you now. You definitely got to get grounded. I just feel like y'all could be picking up on a lot at once, and it could be spiraling you out. And I feel like also it's like your vibration is very, 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 very high. And you're going to have certain people project to bring you back low. All right. Sometimes, you know, and it's and, and also you are very highly sensitive as well. That's what I'm also getting with that high. It's not really like the vibration, like you being positive. It's more like the high vibration as in your, your highly sensitiveness. 
your yours highly sensitiveness is like at an all time high. You need to get grounded to get it back leveled. All right, because y'all could be feeling so much right now. You feeling from two different minds, two different minds, and, and you know most people will say that's schizophrenia, right? But it's not for you because you're not attached to it. This mofo, I feel like they're reading the demon thoughts. Okay, they cannot discern. They, they can't even catch their own thoughts right now. That's schizophrenia because they can't control it. You not attached to it, but y'all y'all can feel it ain't yours. All right, but I feel like y'all got a lot of blessings on the way. These karmics they are realizing today and every other day, even in the past, you belong here in on this planet, fulfilling your destiny. Eleven, eleven. Confirmation. Luck is on your side. This is more confirmation that you guys are at the crossroads, crossing over to a new beginning. And sometimes when we shift, shifting from one crossroad to another, it may take three months. It may take six months. All right, and that's just the process. Sometimes it happens overnight. Just trust the process, okay, and enjoy the ride. Because at least you know you're shifting out of this old reality and, and stepping into a more vacationist reality where you're just happy, having peace. And I'm getting the altar. I feel like your altar, your altar could be activated here. All right, keep your altar activated. Somebody could be trying to copy you and try to build an altar. Their ancestors ain't going to eat off their altar. They got demons. Them demons eating that food. Their demons is eating that energy off of, off the altar here, okay? Somebody's also saying, also saying that they see demons, like, like no, not that they, they, so they were saying that they were seeing demons eating the food you was offering spirit or some shit like that. Like, somebody said that. Like, somebody was saying this, the food you giving spirit, demons are eating it. Nah. And they could be trying to feed spirit now and their own demons are eating that food. Like, whatever they spoke on to you is manifesting in their reality. Y'all just keep breaking records. Y'all, listen. And and I feel like, I feel like you guys. It's like, y'all just, I'm also getting with that breaking records. I don't know why I'm getting it this way. But these karmics, they, they were just thinking like, you know, you're not going to get up today and do this. You're not going to get up tomorrow and do that. But y'all end up doing it anyway. So, like, y'all just keep doing opposite of what they want you to do. All right? It's not because of, you know, you to irritate them or competition. It's, it, it, it's, it's just to keep you moving forward. Because, you know, they want to stop you. You keep doing what they want you to stop doing because it's meant for you. The reason why they want to stop you is because it's meant for you. All right? But I feel like somebody can't grow. Somebody was warned not to mess with you. You're protected. That spell was not going to last. All right? That energy they sent towards you that you was feeling, that, sh that storm was not going to last, and they was warned. They can send it, but it ain't going to last. It's literally like a hurricane turning, going back the opposite direction. You're protected. Everything is temporary. Your protection dispels all this negative energy. It says everything is temporary. That's giving me the spell work, dissolving. Protection. It circles back around because your protection, your, your protection... It's surrounding you, and it sends all that stuff back. They can they can send it all day, every day. Can't karmic, you can have candles burning all throughout your house. Our protection is going to be bigger than that spell work. You don't think we've gone through this with you in the past? In the past life, I mean, specifically? All right, doing spell work to attack your grind so you won't get up and want to grind? What a loser. Only losers do that. But you're not even brave enough, man enough, or woman enough to face us face to face. But you'll do a spell and use a demon thing and a demon will handle your dirty work. Let Listen, Carmen, just let us go so you can move on towards your new beginning. You're not stopping us from stepping into this portal. Even you feel, even us feeling you ain't, ain't, ain't stopping us. It does get annoying, though. I ain't gonna lie. All right, because you need to let us go. And, and, if, and if you want to be an annoying, a nuisance, then eventually it's just going to be nothing to us. It's just going to be absolutely nothing to us. But, you know... I'm also getting like y'all karmic, y'all love to hear when people going through stuff to make yourself feel better. And that ain't working anymore. That shit was never working. And it's like, you know what you're going through right now is because of what you put on yourself. So stop trying to make it seem like other people's problems, you know, it, it, it's something to be laughed at. Like you don't go through stuff. You're going through something 10 times worse than the next person. Okay, I feel like with this portal and the messenger, I feel like you guys could have received like a download about this new beginning. And I, I, I see this person, man. I feel like I could even receive a download of this person being released from this earth. Literally, I see a new beginning happening as this ending happened for this karmic. Like, they, their time is up. Mother Gaia said it, it, their, their energy is no longer is, is out of date. It's no longer needed. All right? I feel like y'all took a lot of salt baths to cut the cord. Listen, y'all, I get it. Because... 
I cut cords, take salt baths, and the karmic still attached. It's their free will. We can't be thinking that, you know, it's spirit. We ain't put the, it's their free will. And plus, our light gonna always attract them. I, I just got into the point where it is, is what it is, and I just gotta keep myself clear, cleanse, and, and set stronger boundaries. That's it. You know, and spirit gonna do the rest, but it's their free will, you guys. They're not gonna stop thinking about us because we don't want them to. You know, and I don't recommend you doing any damn spell work to make them stop thinking about you because their mind is already crazy. All right, just know they can't do anything else to harm you even no more, all right, because y'all out of that storm. They just trying to put you back in it, and they want you to think that you're in it now, but you're not. Y'all got a lot of protection here. Y'all are protected against this karmic community as well. This karmic community keep popping up. They was all doing readings on you. Standing, it's like a, it was like a circle, all right, a group. They was all doing readings on you, and, and they all thought what they were seeing for you was going to come to pass, but they can't believe it's coming to pass for them because you want to know why? Because they had your name on the altar attacking you. Their attacks are circling back around. Some of them are thinking, well, once this shit gets sent back to me, then eventually my spell gonna hit you. Like this is so I'm smelling somebody's homeless. Like they smell very sour, like um like a rotten banana peel. Or maybe like they 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 sweat like somebody could be homeless. Like somebody like they like I feel like somebody is like crazy to the point where they became homeless. They may leave the mental institution, but they may have nowhere to go after. If they ever get discharged. I see one of the karmas getting discharged. They're going to be homeless. All right, that's a part of the, the enjoy the ride I was picking up on the other day when I was like, um, the devil was like telling them to enjoy the ride. Yep. These, listen, they got bad things coming to them. Bad things. Bad things. These people don't need to focus on you being a bad person because they're the bad person. They think, you know, hearing you this bad guy is going to make up all the bad shit that they've done. They didn't have to do half the shit that they've done to you, but they did it anyway. All right? And it's like, this person want to say, like, because you hear the devil, that means you you doing something evil. Like, no, you are gifted to hear light and dark angels and demons all right the demons can talk too and that's how you actually heal and do proper exorcisms too is speaking with the demon all right so you ain't you ain't evil for that and i feel like you heard it's own they're, they're demons and they got mad they don't listen they can hear their own demons they hearing that their voice change and shift all right the karmic need to stop talking about other people demons and demons period and playing with them but you see these cards really standing out to me all right in that 11 11 all right but, um, yeah, come on, Mino, stop. But with this protection, everything is, um, temporary and what goes around comes around. Them even trying to remove your protection, circle back around with them. They got karma. They got their behind whoop. They're not supposed to do that. That backfired. And a lot of them had a hard time seeing it backfire because they're like, the type of spell I'm doing, there's no way it can just backfire on me. You know, they're like, I don't have kids, so that can't backfire. All right, but uh, the spell that you try to send to the kid is backfiring on you, stupid. Dang, you're so dumb. You make me mad how stupid you are. Because then you, you be thinking you right. That's the part that be pissing me off. Your little stup you, your, 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 your stupidity is disgusting. It's a turn off. It's like it's one thing you be like, oh, I didn't know. You know, it's okay, you know. But it's like you just stupid. And you in 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 this karmic they just they smell. I'm tired of seeing this Knight of Wands, man. This is a karmic demon. Like this karmic be in and out of your energy because of their freaking demons. All right, they trying to hide them, but they can't. And they stink. They trying to hide their stench. All right, this false King of Pentacles. He just swear he a King of Pentacles, y'all. You can't tell him that he not. He like I manifested myself into this. I am me. Everything is, I want to clarify all of this. All right. Yeah. Listen, this is protection. Y'all too protected and they try to attack your protect. The Carmix was attacking your protection. I never in my life. And that's why, then they wondering why they facing karma. Ding dong, dum dum, wake up! You are, you was attacking the divine starseed collective protection. 
Where do you think that's going to go? Where do you think that's going to lead you moving forward? You attacking someone. You Do you not know what, what you thought that was just a shield that we're wearing in the Astro? And, and that could be the case. But you never thought that protection even come from spirits, ancestors, their own higher self, God, universe? Sorry, I keep licking my lip, y'all. My lips be dry. I'm talking a lot. All right. Y'all, I'm not even about to go there right now, what I just picked up on. All right. But I'm, I'm not even about to say it. Something is just not worth addressing. All right. But the world. Yeah, they, they were saying, they were telling their family, yeah, everything's going to circle back around to you. You know, I paid this priest and high priestess. They're going to do the work. And they family felt nervous when they was telling like this. Like, they was even telling like, don't get too deep into this. They got so deep that it put them below their feet. They could even promise they wasn't going to get too deep into it. I just can't believe why they're wondering why they're facing karma. And they did something so foolish like attacking your spiritual connection and then trying to bind themselves to you. The feed off of your energy. They was, yo. Then you wondering, think, karma. Think back in time. When you was doing them spells and stuff. You idiot, ding dong, bat, ding dong, dummy. You're an idiot. And this is all the truth. I'm, I just heard the karma say, you're right. I, I know I'm right, you ding dong. You don't got to tell me that. You don't got to tell nobody I felt in your subconscious. You stupid. You stupid, oh, you. That's why you facing karma. Doop, doop, doop. I know y'all used to get mad about that. The karmics. Karma. Doop, doop, doop. But <laughs> you're my baby. What you're sm thinking small having behind. Thinking somebody making fun of karma because they calling out your karma and you deserve it. We have the authority to judge you. And that don't mean sending you bad karma. That's judging you for your bad decisions. Calling you out for your karma is your judgment, stupid. Karma. Doop, doop, doop. That's just so dumb. Okay, some of these people thought you was talking ish on the internet and they was like, I'm going to show up to you. You ain't going to be saying all that when I'm punching you in the ass. They can't, they scared to do that. They know they're going to go to, they go, they're going to lose their life. Everything's going to be, they're like, it's not even worth it. Why am I fighting you for? I don't care what you say. I don't care what anybody say. They should be fighting the people that's really harassing them. All right, not, 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 not you guys. Because y'all speaking the truth about them because they did wicked. All right, this, this queen of wands, yeah, she wanted to fight you. She was so mad because you told her about herself. She was like, I'm going to fight you. I'm going to fight everybody in your family. I don't care. You don't say these type of things. You got to have respect. And, you know, everybody thought this this was justified. Like, them, this karmic trying to come at you with rage because of whatever you said. But everybody ain't speaking about what this karmic said. Ain't nobody speaking about what triggered this karmic to do this. All right, even if, you know, you didn't have to do this, that, and the third, you still did it and, and, and. What you did does not. What you did does not cover up all the things that they've done. If y'all did anything. But somebody was looking at it like you you did something wrong. And now it's like they can't unsee what they did. And, and, and they, they, it's like they can't change it. Yes. Yeah. I'm telling you, somebody was going to their family. Y'all be quiet. Somebody was going to their family. Telling their family, like, trying to get their family to fight you. It's true, yeah. And and now they all trying to deny it. Like, why? Why do it if you're going to be in denial later? A, like, a real a real person will be like, yeah, I did it, and you a coward. You, you, you are fake. You are a fake tough person. You are fake strong. I'm hearing, I'm hearing fake woke, and you're fake woke, too. You're a coward, though. How are you going to do some F, some bullshit? All right, I was going to curse, but I decided not to. How are you going to do some bullshit and then say, I didn't do it? That wasn't me. You're a coward. And then and then you realize that your family don't support none of this hoopla you do. You thought so. Maybe one member in your family, maybe one family member did because they, they, they don't care. They have nothing to lose. All right, a coward. This is someone that is like, like the whole family is like, I'm, I'm getting like a breakup. Like someone's having a breakup with their family. Like, the family is, like, divided or, like, like separated, crumbling here. Judgment. I feel like you called out somebody bullshit, and they, and, and they got mad. They wanted to fight you. They did. They got upset. 
Somebody felt like you had no right to say this or say that, but you did. And they, somebody wanted to say, like, somebody was trying to say, like, whatever you said to, I guess, that person had nothing to do with you and some other karmic. That's what I'm also getting. But it did, though, because they started and they involved it. Somebody was also trying to say, like, you have no right to say anything to them. But this is someone that, you know, they could have never said anything to you, but always talking about you behind your back and and you found out about it it's like y'all have a right to be sick and tired of dealing with somebody's energy especially especially if they coming at you crazy they're not respecting you all right you you have every right you have every right to it this person don't have a right to invade your space your energy and then thinking that they can just come in and and overpower you and 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 be all aggressive and interfere like they they have no right to do that Somebody may have been judged by law enforcement, too. Yeah, the moon, and they trying to keep that a secret. Somebody, I feel like somebody was secretly judged as well, and they trying to keep it a secret. Like, they don't want people to know what you said. Yeah, look, this devil is trying to hide it. This devil is trying to hide your judgment, your truth that you said to them. They don't want no one to know. Yeah, and, and li listen, I did, did I say Capricorn energy? I did say that. We got Pisces here, again, the town, whatever. Anyway, all right, I feel like, you know, ask money. I feel like with this devil, somebody was definitely with this five of wands as well as devil and five of wands. I feel like somebody was fighting, like attacking your crown with magic. They definitely was to like have you mentally ill. I keep getting that. And it's so funny how this person ended up mentally ill. But yeah, somebody was definitely trying to, I, I feel like somebody could also be in regret. And they're thinking I should have just kept whatever I said to myself. They're realizing like, you know, they're a big mouth. And their big mouth led them to huge consequences and... Regardless if these people feel like you was right or wrong, they were still in the wrong, all right? And they could have came and talked to you or calmed you down or been more understanding and compassionate. You get what I'm saying? Like, and, and you, I feel like y'all don't bother nobody. So if you do get upset, if you did say something or trigger this person, it had to been because they, they was poking the bear for too long. And you got tied in with their crap. But all these people felt like they wasn't wrong. They felt like they was right. And look at them. They can't even, they can't even see themselves getting back to get like putting they can't even see themselves put they can't even see themselves putting themselves back together why am i getting that like putting the pieces there you go their piece like they can't see themselves putting their pieces back together mending this broken heart they broke their own heart doing this to you yo they truly did they broke their own heart they would never be the same again absolutely not they're not gonna be this bully again they was never meant to be this bully. They 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 inherited this from whatever pain that was inflicted onto them. All right, this was never meant to be them. All right, but yeah, they're gonna forever feel a loss. They're gonna forever feel a five of pentacles left out in the cold. They're gonna forever feel like an outcast while you're receiving all the attention. All right, well I don't know why I'm getting like you're receiving a lot of attention. Is giving and it's putting you in this ten of coins diamond diamond energy. All right, I'm getting like your legacy. It's like you have a, you're creating like a diamond legacy. Like your children are like little diamonds. All right, li listen, wh what are you planning? I feel like y'all have big plans to create a, a diamond timeline. All right, we've, and I've been talking about y'all shining bright like a diamond. I, I had that dream, that dream about the Cuban chain. Honestly, you guys, I had a dream. I saw me wearing the Cuban chain, but I lucid dream a lot. And, and I, it's like my higher self, I guess, can't told me in, in the dream, like, you know, when you lose the dream, you're conscious, so it's like, I heard a thought, like, that's for the collective, I'm seeing that chain for the collective, because I've been saying in the reading, y'all shining bright like a diamond, so I feel like, you know, my light is reflecting and mirroring a lot of you guys, so shout out to y'all that watch me and support me, my shorts, my, my long reads, whatever, and the rest of my social media, but, you know, I feel like, um, y'all about to, <clears throat> y'all about to be gifted some diamonds here, all right, you know, it's going to take a person, this person a while to clean up their ish. It is. And this is someone, like, I'm not going to say they can never live a life. It's going to take some time. It is. It's going to take some time. They may even go to jail. It's going to take some time. All right, but somebody could have made so many sacrifices for their family and their family not even here for them. You get what I'm saying? And, you know, I feel like, you see, this person I'm here and they was watching you. And, and they were thinking about, like, whatever you did to them in the past. Like, they was holding a grudge. They was. And they could be letting that ish go now, but it's like they decide to let it go too late. <coughs> All right, because they already did what they did. Now they want to communicate to you about what they was thinking, what was said. But I feel like it's just too late, y'all. 
I feel like y'all in a whole nother energy. Mino, come on. Oh, turn it off. I feel like you guys are just in a whole nother... Yeah, these people, they betrayed you. You, They know you moved on because they betrayed you. They know it. They know why. And, and some of them is going to be trying to come back around brand new. But I feel like y'all still going to be on a whole nother frequency. All right? Y'all still are. But I love you guys so much. Bye-bye. You done, man? Yeah. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.